Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how to solve linear equations with more than one unknown for the specified variable. First of all let us discuss what is a system of linear equations. Now a system of linear equations is two or more linear equations that are being solved simultaneously. In this session, we will be looking at the systems that have only two linear equations and two unknowns. Now two linear equations in two variables or two unknowns x and y are said to form a system of simultaneous linear equations if each of these equations is satisfied by the same pair of values of x and y. Now the general form of system of simultaneous linear equations in two variables x and y is given as ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 px plus qy plus r is equal to 0 where a, b, c, p, q and r are constants. Now let us discuss what is the solution of system of linear equations. Now a solution of a system in two variables is an ordered pair that makes both equations true or we can say that a pair of values of x and y that satisfies each of the equations in a given system of two linear equations in x and y is called solution of the system. Now let us discuss methods of solving simultaneous linear equations. First is substitution method. Second is elimination method. And third is graphing method. First of all let us discuss substitution method Suppose we have two linear equations in x and y, then in the first step, write y in terms of x from one of the equations. Then in the next step, substitute this value of y in the second or we can say in the other equation and from here we obtain linear equation in x. Then in solving this linear equation we get the value of x and in the next step we substitute the value of x in the equation that we have obtained in step 1 and from this we get the value of y. Now you can interchange the role of x and y in the above method. Now let us discuss an example. Here we have to solve this system of linear equations by using substitution method. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now the first step we will write y in terms of x by using any of the two given equations. So here let us express y in terms of x by using equation number 1. So here we can write y is equal to 1 minus x and let this be equation number 3. Now we will substitute this value of y 
in the other equation that is in equation number 2 and we get x minus y that is x minus of 1 minus x the whole is equal to 3. Now this implies x minus 1 plus x is equal to 3. Now combining the like terms we have x plus x that is 2x. Now adding 1 on both sides we get 2x is equal to 3 plus 1 which implies 2x is equal to 4. Now dividing both sides by 2 this implies x is equal to 2. Now we will substitute this value of x in the equation which we have obtained in step 1 that is equation number 3. And we have y is equal to 1 minus x that is y is equal to 1 minus 2 which implies y is equal to minus 1. Hence x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1 is the solution of the given system of linear equations. Now let us discuss elimination method. Now in this method we eliminate one of the variables in the first step we make the coefficients of one of the variables equal by multiplying the given equations by a suitable number. In the next step we either add the equations or subtract one equation from the other whichever is appropriate to form a new equation that contains one variable only. Then in the next step, solve this new equation to obtain the value of one of the variables. And in the next step, substitute the value found for the variable in one of the given equations and solve it for the other variable. Now let us discuss an example. And here we will solve the system of linear equations by elimination method that is by using elimination method we will solve the same system of linear equations which we have taken in the previous example. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. First of all let us see coefficients of x in both the equations. Now in first equation coefficient of x is 1 and in second equation coefficient of x is again 1. Similarly coefficient of y in first equation is 1 and coefficient of y in second equation is minus 1. Now here you can see coefficients of x are of same sign and coefficients of y are of opposite sides. So in this method either we can add the two equations or subtract. So here let us subtract equation number 2 from equation number 1. Now here subtracting the left hand sides we have x plus y the whole minus of x minus y the whole is equal to 1 minus 3 that is subtracting the right hand sides we have 1 minus 3 this implies x plus y minus x and minus of minus y is plus y is equal to 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 and this implies now here x cancels with minus x and y plus y is 2y and this is equal to minus 2. Now dividing both sides by 2 we get y is equal to minus 1. 
Now we will substitute this value of y in one of the given equations. So we put y is equal to minus 1 in equation number 1 and we get x plus of minus 1 is equal to 1 which implies x minus 1 is equal to 1 and this implies x is equal to 1 plus 1 which implies x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1 is the solution of the given system of linear equations. Now let us discuss graphical method. In the first step we draw the graph for both the given equations since these are linear equations so we obtain two straight lines then we find the coordinates of the point of intersection of these two lines and these coordinates give the common solution of the given equations now if the two lines intersect at a point, then this point is the unique solution of the given equations and we say that the given equations are consistent and independent. If the two lines coincide, then we have many solutions and we say that the given equations are consistent and dependent. If the two lines are parallel, then the given equations have no solution and they are called inconsistent. Now let us solve the same system of equations graphically. Now for drawing the equations graphically, we will make the table of values for both the equations. Now equation 1 can be written as y is equal to 1 minus x. Now here we have made a table of values and here we will put different values of x in this equation and we get the corresponding values of y. First of all we will put x is equal to 0 in this equation and for x is equal to 0 we get y is equal to 1 minus 0 that is equal to 1. So for x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1. Similarly for x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 minus 1 that is 0 and for x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. So we have obtained this table of values for equation number 1. Now let us plot these points on the graph. Now for x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1. So the first orbit pair that we will plot is 0, 1. Now for x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So this is the point with coordinates 0, 1. Similarly we will plot the other two points also. So we have plotted all the three points on the graph. Now we will join these three points. Joining these three points we get a straight line which represents the equation x plus y is equal to 1. Similarly we will draw the graph of the second equation also. Now the second equation can be written as y is equal to x minus 3. So for this equation also we will make the table of values. And here 
by putting x is equal to 0, 1 and minus 1 in this equation, we get y is equal to minus 3, minus 2 and minus 4 respectively. So let us plot all these points on the graph. So we have plotted all the three points on the graph. Now we will join these three points. Now joining these three points again, we get a straight line which represents the equation x minus y is equal to 3. Now from the graph, we see that the two lines intersect at this point. That is the point with coordinates 2 minus 1. This point of intersection is the solution of the given equations. That is, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1 is the solution of the given equations. So in this session, we have discussed how to solve linear equations with more than one unknown for the specified variable. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.